Alright guys, we have made it to Electrify Expo in Long Island, New York. Uh, they actually let us park the bikes here uh, in their little valet area here. Uh, so, super convenient. Thank you, man. Nice, thank you. Mike, what's going on brother? Long time no see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. E. How's it going, brother? <laughs> What's going How's on? it going on, man? Good, good, What's man. What's the next group ride? It's 10 hours. Soon, soon. <laughs> stay tuned, stay tuned. For sure, part two. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Am I really going to walk around with a helmet all day? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, man, that's a uh, risky business. Yeah. Test right one here. I know, right? <laughs> I don't have to use your battery, no. Wow, uh, check out this custom paint job over here. It's like Desert Storm Edition or something. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> single speed yeah very nice very minimalistic you got the power button here and then the uh looks like the, the battery yeah it looks like it right here and this is the battery level indicator seems like it yeah that's pretty cool Check out. Let's check out the sportage inside here. See how it feels. Ooh. I won't be able to fit here with my backpack, but ooh, it's nice. Ooh. Very spacious. I mean, for a that has kind of long legs, but just look at the dash here. Like it's pretty insane. Sort of has the uh, the turn shifter over here. Uh, like the USB charging as well over here. It's a pretty spacious car. Something to look into for sure. Over to our own brand, uh, you know, we changed the name of it from just the Livewire to the Livewire One. Uh, no, I'm not. No, I wish. I mean, if I was that fucking rich, I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> uh, so this one right now, and then we're dropping our second one in March. Oh, very uh, nice. The Delmar that's coming after this will be about 17. Wow. And that's going to be more of a middleweight. It's going to be a little smaller, a little more smell. Mm. Uh, about 120 pounds lighter. Different nice. Yeah, nice. a whole different ergonomic. This is this is definitely like a three-quarter like sport naked setup. Mm -hmm. The next the next model is going to be mid controls, and it's going to be right up here. Oh wow! Upright riding position. It's going to be a flat track looking right. race bike. Yeah, okay. yeah. So they have here the go kart track. Uh, for hover one, I guess they're doing some some kind of drift drift testing. I don't think uh, adults are able to to try these out <laughs> actually. Go go go! Where'd you get the lemonade? Man. Oh really? <laughs> Who are you waiting for? Oh. Mike and uh, Rich. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Check this one out. 
Wow, this is nice. Has the half twist throttle, uh, Shimano gear shifter, uh, standard headlight. And I'm curious to know if this is a 52 volt system or a 48 volt. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was like talking over like the commentary and stuff like that. It's nice. And if you want to test drive them, mm. Oh, right. Okay, okay. And these will be here? These will be over there at the yeah. testing area? Yeah. Oh, great. Awesome. Oh, okay. Great. Small little hub here. You can tell. Took it off like a dirt track. But, thanks. Sick, man. It's nice. Wow. I believe with the hooks, you can actually register them as mopeds, um, which is great for people that are looking to um, take these to the streets. Oh, you can put your name on it? Nice. Already know. JV360. <laughs> nice. You guys remember this if, if you guys follow uh, spark cycle works they did a skit with the um, mad max uh, banded bike and this thing is freaking awesome bro holy cow i love it you even got the fire extinguisher on the side over there it's freaking awesome this one by far is my favorite one they uh took the old jazz cup design and they basically uh applied the, the paint job on the bandit and uh this thing looks freaking awesome i wish this was available for purchase i would so get it it's crazy man matt nice to meet you i'm jeff by the way uh, J jb 360 yeah but um i actually bought my battery blender from you a while back i don't know if, I, if you were on the email but it might have been the other guy i forget colin colin right i drew like a diagram i was like can i do this with the battery blender? <laughs> i like drew out the batteries and the wire and stuff like that and i was like oh and he's like yeah you can do that i was like all right yeah yeah it was perfect this was the it was rated for like 35 amps right or 30 amps or whatever yeah more than that we just do safety Right. It was perfect at the time because I had the aerial rider and I, you know, I, I attached like a triangle to it so it was like, worked out really good. How's the uh, javelin coming along? It's That's one thing. Right. Yeah, yeah, everybody's asking me. Alright. <laughs> got a lot of people who are like in the e-bike world coming. They're asking. What's the upcoming job? Right, right. Yeah, no, I, uh, I'm not, it's not a crazy super. Right, right. Go 60 volt, just go to 72. Might as well. Right, exactly. If you're gonna, yeah. Exactly. Makes makes sense with the steel frame, right? You guys are doing too. It's perfect. Um, so yeah, it's. Uh, I would say probably by the end of September, mm. I'll be able to show off the second part of it, which will look right. Totally different. It looks nothing like. It. Right. But dude, you have you have to keep the little boost button. <laughs> Really? Oh, you're gonna have you're gonna keep that deal though. Oh, that's awesome, man. No, we're, we're keeping the whole analog system. Right. Oh, that's awesome, dude. I just love it. This is like I was just telling people about the Mad Max thing, and I was just like, I love the the whole like grittiness of it, and like the Nomad kind of like, yeah. So, this can give you any kind of hint or insight into what the bike is actually about. Yeah. Like video games. Yes. And, yeah. Uh, I'm really big into older like. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mario Kart. Yeah, yeah. And so, think about all the buttons. Yeah. Mario Kart. Yeah. Those two. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the entire cluster. Mm. You, this is not a bike where you just sit on it mm. and go. You're active the whole time. Really? Oh, so you're constantly like I, you're is, thinking. Yeah. Right. Right. You can. Yeah. You can just flip the switch. You just turn it into normal mode. Yeah. The bike will perform the way you put it into active. Right. Right. So think about actively deciding. On turns and stuff like that when you're banking, like hit the regen and you know. And you store up power and then decide yeah. when you want to release it. Right, right. Get the mushroom, right? Or the uh, right, the boost. Yeah, yeah. That's freaking awesome, man, dude. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. Wow, man. I mean, I think Mario Kart. Right, right. That's what I'm you everyone. That's all. not just one bike. Right. Multiple, Multiple right? That's awesome, man. So. You know if it's a 48 volt? That's it, is. it is 48 volt. Okay, great, nice. Oh, it's a good model. Okay. So this is already in five right here. Okay. But in zero, it's like the safety mode. It's not going to do anything either mm -hmm. throttle or the pedal. Okay. But as soon as you put it into one, right, this will take off. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Okay. So that's the throttle on demand. Throttle on the left. Like say you're at a red light, mm. light turns green, and you're like, oh, let's go. <laughs> that throttle, it'll get right. you through the intersection. Okay, great. But I always recommend start with zero, get some pedal strokes in, jump into one, feel that first boost. Okay. Then you can turn it on. Gotcha. And which one is the rear? Which one is front? Oh, so this is the front brake? Front brake. Rear brake. Rear brake. Okay, gotcha. Thank you very much. Man, I haven't had to uh, pedal a bike in a long time. Whoa. Oh, what gear is this on? All right, pedal assist. Here we go. This is the Aventon Adventure. Ooh, nice. You have to really uh, switch gears on it. It's nice though. Nice little, uh, nice little track here. Woo. So we got it on four, mode four. I know he told me not to go on two, <laughs> to go on to one to test it out, but it's nice. Woo. Yeah. Like I was saying with uh, Jay, a lot of people, it's like their first time, their first time, first time riding an e-bike. So they gotta get used to the uh, the speed and the power. Let's look at this, the OBC. I'm just using throttle right now. Very little pedaling. Dang, I haven't ridden a pedal bike in a long time. This is fun though. It's a nice experience. Nice. What do you guys think? We think we should uh, test some uh, Electric vehicles, some cars. Ooh. That was nice. Before the battery dies, I want to get you on it. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll Definitely. talk about you. Awesome, man. Thank you very much. Whew. All right, this is the Hover One. I'm not sure what model this is, but this looks like their uh, fat tire model. And uh, it's definitely a, a different riding stance. It's more so like, uh, whoa. More so, you're kind of just like sitting up, right? Oh my gosh. Mo3 is actually kind of nice. Nice telling us to slow, slow down. 
Uh, I will slow down, but I will go on the left lane. The, um... It's so cool that they have the, uh, the little carrier for the for the kids. Nice. That guy has an EUC. There are no EUC companies here. He said I could take it for two two test spins. Wow, it's actually kind of torquey. Not gonna lie. This. <laughs> This looks like a horse carriage. That's kind of funny. Nice. I didn't ask him which brake was back and rear. Pretty comfortable ride. Um, you know, a lot of these models remind me of uh, the. Uh, what should I call it? The D-class the D sort of stance. sticks a little bit. I don't know if it has to do with the, uh, the throttle sensor. Let's kind of get stuck there. Oh man, this guy's uh, kind of sitting down. <laughs> now let's see, can you pedal this? Is there a pedal assist? Oh, there is pedal assist. Whoa! Pedal assist is actually kind of nice. Pedal it, just kicks in. I don't know if it's a cadence sensor, but this is nice over here. Having fun, man. It's great. <laughs> Here you go. All yours, bro. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it, bro. Anytime, Thanks again, man. Take care. Yeah, you too, bro. How's it going? <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I love the shape of the battery, by the way. Cool. So yeah, the battery. Yeah. Batteries is our intellectual property. Mm. It's a swappable battery. So I pick this up. Nice. Pull this out. It pops. Unplug it from right here. Right. And it pulls it out. So if I'm going on a longer trip, I yeah. One or two extra. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, so. How many volts is this running? So it's this one is. 3.1 kilowatt hours. Oh, nice. Yeah, so very it's nice. Biggest, a really big battery. Right, so lithium right. Lithium-ion, it's an LG cell. Nice. So it's auto-grade lithium-ion, same lithium-ion you find at Tesla. Right, right. The battery management system mm. that's running that battery is our computer system, so it's, it's oh. our intellectual property. Nice, so, nice. I realized that it was dual motor. I just yeah. <laughs> I just saw the hub in the that's front. That's exactly right. All, yeah. All-wheel drive. That's wow. what makes it so unique. That's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. So, so all-wheel drive. Okay. Um, and then does it come with an extended seat, or is that like a separate like no, purchase? So it's for, it's, because it's all-wheel drive, it's engineered mm. as a one-seater. Okay. Because when you start to put too much weight on the back, yeah. it, the front gets light, so that front wheel spins and scares people. Right. You can. I put my I put my daughter here and I sit back there and I'm just, right. I ride 
ride motorcycles, I'm not right. really concerned with it. Yeah, right? yeah. But you can put 80 pounds on the front, 90 pounds on the rear. The more balanced that weight is, the more the bike's not going to, that front wheel won't spin. Right, Again, exactly. It's not at the end of the world if it spins, but just yeah. new riders kind of freak out. Gotcha, uh, gotcha. Yeah, I know dual motor setup is usually uh, a bit torquey, yeah, like especially yeah. in the beginning. So Yeah, yeah, um, yeah definitely torquey. But this is awesome, man. Yeah, I love this utility cool. setup. It's That's great. Exactly. It's really meant as a foreign bike, as a, as a utility bike. Yeah. Ooh, nice catch. Or can you switch between no, single and always enabled. You always can enable. unplug the front one if you want it, but it doesn't right. help you at all. You don't save you on range. The right. computer system in the battery is communicating with the computer system in the bike. Right. And it's applying that uh, power right. to make the battery use as efficient as possible. That's how right. we get out to 75 miles. Wow, holy cow. So right now you're driving, you hold that brake. Okay. So just brake and throttle, that's it. Okay. Suspension you, feels great too. Yeah, I want yeah. you to hold that brake and I want you to roll on that throttle, start to see where the bike gets power. Let go of that, don't, you don't right want to hit that red button. So just yeah. hold the throttle, not that red button. Oh, okay, gotcha. There you go. Right, so I want so you to hold right that there? brake and start to feel where the bike gets power, right? Right there. All right, okay. And now you can let go of that brake and go ahead. Oh, awesome. Of course. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> Whoa. This bike is actually, feels really nice. Very moped style. <laughs> wow. On the turns, man, especially. It's great. I kind of want to give people in front of Holy, this thing screams, holy cow. I've never ridden a uh, dual motor setup, so this would be like kind of my first one. You know, I haven't really tried the Grizzly out or the D-Class, so definitely, uh, woo. Oh my God. Got zooming through the foot. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, this thing is sick. Holy cow. I'm so glad I tried this one, actually. How's it going? Great. This thing is awesome, man. <laughs> wow. Thank you very much for uh, the oh, test ride. Yeah. Am I going to go twice? Oh. Yep. Awesome. Thank you very much.